Hey, today we're going to do basic speech acts. So let me share my screen with you all. Basic speech acts. We use language to make statements, but we also use language for other things. These various types of language we call speech acts. A number of different speeches or speech acts are indicated in and um, call them by putting a little unstressed word after the verb. Two of the most common speech acts will be if you can, if the question can be answered with a yes or a no. And every language has a special part of its grammar for those uses. These speech acts are particularly easy in Qualum. The first one is our commands. This is uh, indicates, remember that there is nothing to the pronoun. It's not a symbol that you would add, you write it down. So you know, I had a few students who would write it out and that's incorrect, that's not a text. So let's hear it. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Go, all of you. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Take it. Quite. What? Take it, all of you. What time? What time? Okay, and then the emphatic forms with the chi. Go. Yeah, chi. Yeah, chi. Go, all of you. Yeah, chi, hi. Yeah, chi, hi. Uh, take it. What chi? What chi? Take it, all of you. What chi, hi. You should go. Here, Queen. Here, Queen. You should go, all of you. Here, Queen. Hi. Here, Queen. Hi. You should take him, her, it, them. Quat, Queen. Quat, Queen. All of you should take him, her, it, them. Quat, Queen. Hi. Quat, Queen. Hi. Sentences giving commands are also called imperative sentences. In English commands, there is an understood subject as in take it. The same is true for column, just use the verb without a subject. For a strong demanding command, add chi. So that would be right here. And for a more polite command, add qui after your verb. This makes it more like a suggestion than a command. It can be translated various ways in English, like should or ought to or why don't you. Also, note that when you are talking to more than one person, you use hi, and the chi or qui comes before it, like right here, he ought qui hi or he or quet chi hi. Also, these speech act particles are never stressed. If you look at them, they are not stressed at all. There is no stress on the vowel. The next one is our quinoe. 3.1. A training to Asian, a stone that which quinoe son, a stone to quacha. So if you could and do this on your own, that would be nice. I'll go over a couple with you. Hiachi. Hiachi. That means go. Saechi. Saechi. That means to lift it. Oh, with this cheats command. Cheats chi high. Cheats chi high. And that means with the high. So you all cheats is cut it. You all cut it. And then if we do this side, run with an exclamation word, then it'd be quaning it chi or sleep. It would be mm, sleep, eat, chi, sleep, eat, chi, and run away. Shout, chi, 
Stop, Chief. So if you can do that on your own, go over the um so the 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 word list is in the in the transitive video. So translate these sentences. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me at harmony.arakawa at elwa.org. Um, if you want to send me a video of your pronunciation, that'd be great also. And the more videos we'll do, maybe we'll start doing them live with, uh, with you all. Um, so I can get some input from you guys. If you have any questions, you can just ask me on the spot. But for now, you go ahead and email me again at harmony.arakawa at alwa.org. Huntington.